So Chris, a question we get a lot on info at is people set up an individual fundraiser and a team fundraiser, and then they contact us saying, hey, I set up both of these. I only wanted the team. So how do I delete the individual? Mm -hmm. What would you say in response to that? Well, I tell them that, uh, in fact, you there's no need to delete your individual. You're, you're meant to have an individual page, but not to worry because your individual fundraiser, uh, things you fundraise as an individual will roll up directly to the team automatically. That's just sort of the flow of of donations through a run sign up and give sign up. You do have to have an individual fundraiser page, but everything you raise on that individual page will roll up to your team. You can see on this first one, Chris Newcomer, they've raised $25,000 dollars or so but they're also if you scroll further down they're on a team they're on the team applause right there so all of the funds that they have raised also are going to that team as well um, so that's why people can feel free to share out their individual fundraiser pages because not only are they getting credit for the ones being getting those funds they're also getting those funds for their team looks like chris is carrying this team yeah chris newcomer but you know chris newcomer the third is the worst chris newcomer the 10th wow bringing nothing to the table don't get me started on chris newcomer the 15th what a monster <laughs> but that's the other nice thing too if they come to a team page and they do want to um donate to someone specific they can click into that that team members page to go back to it to to give, give them that uh that donation as well so yes if you're a fundraiser and you have an individual fundraiser and a team fundraiser you always want to share the link to your individual fundraiser because any money raised there is going to count towards your total and the team's total. That's right.